Hello, I'm Grant Grinstead with Verclair Farms in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We're a 2400 cow dairy. Uh, we farm about 3,500 acres. We're fourth generation farmers in this area. Approximately a little over a year ago, we were looking to improve our, our feeding in our dairy and looked at, uh, at ways to improve our accuracy, be more precise, um, improve our efficiency. And one of the things that I started to look at very closely was how do we utilize automation in order to accomplish that? As we look at uh, other production livestock sectors, such as poultry or the swine industry, uh, there's a lot of emphasis on utilizing computerized batching. Um, however, it wasn't popular yet within the dairy industry, but it intrigued me to look at that further to see how we could capture that technology from other industries and apply it here at our dairy. Uh, so we started looking around and uh, it became evident that uh, in my analysis, why are we dragging a mixer to the cows? Why couldn't we do this in a stationary environment and let computerized batching make these feeds for us? Uh, granted, we would still have to put in uh, our forages via payloader, but can those dry ingredients go in automatically? And we were able to accomplish that by partnering with Trio Lee. Um, as we look at our data now that we've been running for just about a year now, it is amazing to me to, to be able to see the accuracy and the precision that we're able to accomplish today. And then on top of that, the efficiency in reducing our man hours that it takes to feed cows. Uh, out of this facility here, we make about 127,000, 130,000 pounds of feed a day. Um, that's comprised of about 15 batches to get everybody fed. And we've been able to reduce our feeding time by about two to three hours a day um, by letting automation work in our favor. Um, you know, as we look forward, uh, the technology that we're utilizing, uh, we were uh, TMR tracker users before um, with the data stick transfer to the scale head. Uh, we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, we still use TMR tracker in order to um, house our recipes, do our dry matters, we use it for inventory. In addition to that, then our feeding plan is set and then that pushes out to Trialee every morning and Trialee takes over from there. I think the, one of the appreciating factors that we've been able to find here is the tie out of what is manufactured versus what is delivered. And we we're able to see that in reporting sequence that we can use that then as a coaching tool with our feeders. Now, I'm a firm believer if we can give our employees the opportunity to understand how are they doing and we're able to do it in real time here. Um, our staff gravitates towards looking at those reports and how are they doing and what can we do differently. Um, it's rewarding and so the outcome of that is is we have a better feeding system here and we're getting those right nutrients delivered to the cows. We're using the large conveyor system that uh, is, is, was part of the package and it's just been a blessing to be able to have a conveyor that works day in and day out. You know, as we look at this and, and, and really hone in on why, or why do we make this investment, we've got a, probably about a three year payback on this and it's the ability to be accurate but be precise every single day in how we deliver feeds to those cows.